Hey editors, you wish you could edit so fast to be able to produce more content, right? But you are not really sure. How possible could that be in Wondershare few more? Well, in this video are 10 tricks to help you edit faster. Here is the first tip guys from my list, grouping by color. When you drag down your videos into the timeline, and even after you have dragged down the audio, everything is just the same. But you can actually group the type of your clips only by color. For example, you can make the first clips yellow, the normal, green, and the slow motion clips blue. And here is how you do it. Just right click the video in the timeline, and here you select the preferred color. You can do the same to two or more clips just by selecting multiple files. This will work even to audios. Moving on to the next tip, which is optimizing the toolbar. These little things you see here are there to save your time whenever you are editing. It's so simple, one click, it takes you where you want to be. Let me give you this example. You double click your video and then go transform and then add a keyframe. But if you use the toolbar, just one click to the keyframing feature. But then how to optimize? This is where many editors make mistakes. We use Wondershare Fumona's default toolbar setup, despite the type of projects we work on every day. You can click here to customize your toolbar the way you want. Every tool that you use every day in every project must be preferred first. It doesn't make sense to set a delete tool right over here when you need it on the middle. So everything must be on the right place to save you in right time. Number 3. Writing Notes this one can also be expressed as adding markers. I am just taking it from another angle. There are small simple things that you can easily forget when you are editing in your timeline. And while you are still remembering, maybe there are effects that you would like to add later. Use this tool right here to add a marker in your timeline. Or you can use M for a keyboard shortcut. And after that you can right click the marker and do modify. And here you can write something that will help you to remember when you need the information. Here is the number 5. You guys must learn to create and use presets. This trick saves me in almost every project that I work on. The advantage of creating presets is on many things in Wondershare few more. You can create a color grading preset or a title preset. Just a lot of things and it really saves time. Just think of this example. When I'm making a listing video like this, I can keep creating this number listing. But I just have to save one as a preset, then keep taking it and only changing the numbers. The next one is very simple but effective. Just imagine we always use Ctrl S to save the project. But what if you could just use S without Ctrl? So by using Ctrl, Alt and K, you can actually change the shortcuts to those which are simple for you and effective. Of course, you don't have to set the weird ones because you are going to teach yourself against the industry of editing. Let us move on to the next on the list and that is I for in point and O for out point. Okay, let me explain. When you drag a video clip in the timeline, you may need a small portion from that long video clip. And by the usual method, this is going to take you much time as you will be trying to find out that certain particular portion you want to use in your project. Now let us do it easy, just select your video in the media bin and the preview start playing. After it is previewed to the frame you want, hit I. And when the last frame, hit O. Now drag down the video clip right from the preview screen and straight into the timeline and the meta is settled. The next tip is for the wise. You can tell by the way I have titled it. Okay, but how can I use the favorite folder in a wise way? We have the favorite folder from the stock media, audio, titles, transitions, effects, stickers, and templates and we work with these folders every time we are editing now instead of adding the audios titles transitions and so forth everything those things that we like instead of adding them under the favorite folder we better add those transitions titles audios effects that we use the most i know we have favorites but to be wise is to add those things that we use frequently in our project in nearest folders that we will be able to reach in less time here is the next one from my list but this one is completely dealing with those people who think about tomorrow. After you have set up your workflow on the PC you are using right now, maybe it crashes, but you still need the same presets on the next PC. So this is a tip to save your presets on cloud. 
Taking as an example, when you go to titles and when you go right under your custom titles, you can see this cloud icon right on the corner here. And when you click it, your preset will be uploaded. And when you log in another PC, you will be able to refresh and find everything. You can also do this to the custom templates and they will be kept the same way. Two more tips to end the video guys. So let us go on to number nine. So depending on the type of projects that you always work on, there are some video clips that you repeatedly import each and every time and you always use them in your projects. And today we are stopping that habit of importing same video clips in every new project. So this is so simple. Just right click that certain video you want and down here you find an option copy to global media. Or let's say you want more than one or even all of them, you can select multiple and then still copy to the global media. And when you open the new project, you can just go to the global media and you go to your folder and you'll find every clip in here. Here is number 10. We come to transitions. But now this is not about the favorite folder. It's all about the transition duration. So just as I have said earlier, according to the type of project that you always work on, of course scenes are different and so forth, but you normally have certain transition durations or normal sequences. So when you drag down a transition, it is set on a duration of 2 seconds by default. And that is not even near the duration I use in most of my projects. So let us fix that. Under file, you go to preferences. And right here, you go to editing. And you can go to transition and set the exact duration that you think is most ideal for your projects. As for me, something like 15 seconds. And next time, you don't have to make unnecessary adjustments of transitions durations. These are all 10 trips I wanted you guys to get from this video. If you got some help, subscribe. And for more content, be sure to check this video right here or this playlist. And I will meet you there.